What's up guys, welcome to the Hardwin82 channel, I'm Adam and today we are gonna talk about the cheapest possible LED projector you can buy right now on eBay or Amazon with a full HD resolution. So yeah, let's have a look quick what we are dealing here with because I'm very excited. I never had my LED projector before, uh, especially for my private use. So yeah, I'm very excited, let's have a look. I'm hoping that money was well spent. If not, I don't know. <laughs> Before I will tell you the spec, I will just quickly unbox this. So what we have here, sample projector screen. I didn't even know that I will get this oh, with clips. Wow, on the back it says it's a 100 inch. All right, so, so basically you can hang this on your wall and have a proper background for your new movie or the game. Now we have a cables, remote control, <laughs> no batteries, all right. Okay, HDMA cable and the power supply cable. Oh, we have also that kind of audio cable if for any reason you would like to use it, but I do not recommend. The quality of the sound will be much worse than, for example, a Wi-Fi connection or simply HDMI. Manual. And the cleaning kit. All right, let's have a look. This is looking good. This is very nice design. It's very small, like you can see, it's tiny comparing to the projectors you usually see at the universities or at your workplace, for example. So yeah, I already love it. Okay. At the back, we have uh, two USB ports, one HDMI ports, AV input port and uh, audio port. Oh, I really, I really do love the design. I can't wait to test this. Okay, but before we go further, I need to tell you something about the spec. So what we are dealing here is a LED portable projector with ability to represent the image with full HD resolution. 1080p. The company that made this, it's called Cloak Projector. I hope I pronounced that good because the company is from Hong Kong. 56 watts. And, um, and before I say a few more things, uh, I, I just need to remind you something. It is LED projector, not LCD projector. The main difference between LCD and LED is uh, what source they are using to represent the image. In uh, With an older type LCD, liquid crystal display we were using lamps here because this is again led light emitting diode we have um, leds here are creating the image the biggest advantage of led projectors is a uh, lifespan they are energy efficient they are we could say energy friendly the lifespan is uh, in general around twenty thousand hours comparing to older type where you have only 2000 hours and basically almost maintenance free. 8000 to 1 contrast, 9000 looks, uh, which is information about the brightness. So it's the clarity of the picture is quite good. 16, point, 16 to 9 or 4 to 3 aspect ratio with a 24 bits uh, true color support and uh, display up to 230 inches so the image on the wall will be quite big also what is really really interesting wi-fi support 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz uh, so you can connect the projector via your 
a Wi-Fi or you can connect to your phone. It doesn't matter if it is Android system or iPhone. Compatible with Amazon Fire TV Stick, Roku, tablets, laptops. The full list is quite big, so I will just leave the link in the description below. So if you are interested, have a look. Recommended distance between projector and the wall is minimum six feet, maximum 10. Okay, let's let's have a look. Let's start this puppy and have a look what we are dealing here with. You can hear the fan running. Yeah, to be fair, it's quite loud. Very loud. Hmm. Okay. Maybe it's gonna stop in a bit. Of course, to have the best experience possible, the room has to be dark. With maybe small few lights in the corners, that's it. Daylight and the light like I have now, this will destroy the whole experience. At the moment, I just want to see how connection looks like and then I will go to my living room and I will start doing some real tests.
Welcome back guys, it's been a few days since I bought this In those last few days I was uh, testing this I watch a few movies, I test different settings And now I have a final thoughts Do I recommend this? That depends, I thought the conclusion would be easier I thought I would give you one simple answer, yes It is worth it, but to be fair that depends Let me, let me explain Looking clearly from the price point of view, it is yes. You will get decent device, nice build with uh, with a bunch of possibilities, great connections, decent quality picture, quite good sound as well. So yes, looking from just price point perspective, it is a yes because you need to remember, LED projectors they can be expensive. They can easily go up to $700, $1,000. So buying a device like this for only a fraction of that, again, that was that cost me 130 pounds, it is a yes. And now, and now let me explain you why it might not be good for you. There are a few things I didn't like, and I don't think I will be using this. Probably I will even sell it. So the, the problem number one I was having is uh, how loud that is. There is nothing that controls the fan. Simply as soon as you press the start, the fan will start spinning with a full with a full speed. It is quite annoying. But again, that depends what you're watching. Because if you want to make a movie night and you watch the movie quite loud, you will not hear that fan. Another thing I didn't like is uh, quality. It's a 1080p, but when you look closer to the picture, you will quickly find out that the quality, the clarity of the picture will go worse when you go to the sides of the screen. When you start playing with the focus settings here and you will make a perfect quality in the middle of the screen, you will start losing focus on the sides. When you start playing again and you will adjust the sides, you will start losing the focus in the middle. So yeah, that was freaking annoying. Again, when you watch the movie, it's not that visible. I've noticed this straight away because I used to watch content with 4, 4K resolution, so the smallest uh, problems with the quality, I'm straight away, I'm like, Ooh, what? what's that? I wasn't expecting like a super clear quality, but that was, to be fair, a little bit annoying. From 1080p, I was expecting a little bit more, maybe, but again, looking at the price point, hmm, I'm not sure, you, you need to decide. So again, who's supposed to use it and who should stay away from it. I will give you a few scenarios. If you are a teenager and you and you have a small tally in your, in your room, this freaking thing will be fantastic. You can make a movie night every single every single day. You can invite your girlfriend and uh, and make some popcorn and you will have a freaking nice experience. What else? If you have like a, let's say garage and you transform this to the gym for example you go to the garage you want to train take this with you it's a small compact yes point this to the wall play those motivation videos or whatever you want so yeah that's another scenario what else if you have a big room with a big wall you can make really big picture with this so again movie night okay now let's go to the part where i am saying this is maybe not good for you, uh, at least not good for me. It's end of 2022. I'm sure most of you guys, you watch content with at least full HD uh, resolution, probably even 4K. Also, I'm sure most of you, you have massive tallies in, in your house. Uh, so if you have minimum 42 inches and for many years you watch content with a high, high resolution, you will be very annoyed with this. The, the quality of the image is, is, is poor, basically. Again, comparing to the normal tally, you know, with a crystal clear resolution. So to, to be fair, when I, when I play the movie and I try to watch it with my wife, after 10 minutes, I was so annoyed. I, I, was, I was just thinking, no, I, I think I'm gonna stop and I will just watch this movie on my tally. So, so no, I wasn't impressed. I can only recommend this to someone who's, let's say, looking for some kind of a portable solution because yes, it is small. You can grab it, you can put it to your bag, you can go to the to your meeting, to, 
you can represent something on the, on the wall. Connectivity is great. You can quickly connect your phone to this. You can use HDMI cable. Possibilities are great. So guys, I hope that video was useful for, for you and uh, I answer your questions. So if you think about something like this, um, yeah, there are pros and cons. You have to decide. Uh, for me, because I have 55 inch tally downstairs and I used to watch contact with a really good quality, it's a, it's a no from me. But to be fair, I need to be objective. For this price, this little thing is doing a really good job. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you found that video useful, consider subscribing. And uh, yeah, and I will see you next time. Thank you. See ya.